Oh my god, is teabagging now a bannable offense in Halo? Guys, this is a hilarious story because it's been seen already by millions of people. And this person said, the boys and I just got banned on Halo Infinite for bagging. WTF. And 343 has responded to this. Now, the original post also says 30 minute timeout on Halo Infinite for bagging. And of course he's laughing. It says you've been temporarily suspended from matchmaking for unsporting play. Your suspension will end very soon. Okay, so basically this person went around with the boys on Halo Infinite and bagged some fools, right? Just like that, just in case you needed a refresher of what teabagging is. It actually is funny because it reminds me of that whole conversation a couple years ago and actually for quite some time on and off, that teabagging should be considered S.A. to some people because they get so offended, they, they feel like they were actually hurt. They were actually S.A.'d in a video game. It's crazy. It's crazy. Some people are actually calling for this. People, Some people actually do want this to be a bannable offense, and it actually kind of reminds me about how much you know I miss the Xbox Live parties. And meeting people and, you know, matchmaking, especially on Halo 3, man, it was it was all offensive and it was hilarious. It was super fun. Unishek did respond to this, okay? And so this person said, WTF and tag 343's community manager, Unishek. And he said, yeah, that's not a thing. A 30-minute timeout is automated and only happens after quitting multiple games in a short amount of time. It's always prefaced by a 10-minute timeout too. So that means that there was a lot of quitting leading up to it. Well, there it is. That's the story. No, 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 no. Because something about this is major sus. Something about this is not adding up. And I really don't like everyone acting like this guy is just a dirty, filthy liar and was just doing this for some kind of attention. I think that there is definitely something into this and he explains this here, okay? So the original poster said this, we can lobby check if you want, but no one quit in my squad. It was four of us on split screen and we didn't get a ban until after one of the games someone bagged and we bagged back. I bagged again in the second game to test and got an even longer timeout. So that was that. All right, you guys tell me we were on the Xbox Series S with terrible FPS due to four of us playing. We were getting spanked. We got a ban and then another. One common denominator was the bagging. I've never been banned before for anything. And I've never seen unsporting play. Hey, you guys tell me, is this a conspiracy? Okay, because now the story just gets deeper. Everyone's throwing this guy down saying that he is a dirty, dirty liar. Okay, so what happened here man did you actually quit the game i don't think i've seen unsporting play i think usually it says for leaving too many matches or something along that lines and you, we could probably figure it out right here in the comment section so you guys tell me have you been banned for leaving too many matches okay so he also says this by the way he has his account it was just a timeout I don't even play Halo, but once every few months when some friends and I play, we just thought it was hysterical that we got timed out for unsporting play. Everyone's account is safe. We just easing off the bagging, I suppose. And so Unishek replied, Hey man, I'm glad to hear you were all able to keep playing afterwards. We try to keep these timeouts reasonable, but still firm enough to discourage any potential unsporting behavior. There's that word again, guys. I feel like this is a conspiracy, man. I, like... Now I want to deep dive into this. I'll clarify that there was a few other automated systems that we could have hit you with similar timeouts, betrayals, AFK, etc. Oh, what about teabagging, Unishak? Hmm? Hmm? Those are obviously less likely to occur, but could pop up if you're horsing around with friends in split screen, as we all do in split screening. And so, yes, it pretty much ends like that. He's still playing Halo. He's not banned, banned. But it doesn't change the fact that millions of people believe that this is the case now, whether it is or not. And it makes me want to deep dive. So guys, do you think that something fishy is going on here? Do you think that they're banning people and that they're just not ready for the public to understand, to know that teabagging is seen as an offensive thing now? Man, I'm so tired of how soft everyone is now sometimes uh, with, with video games and, and the speech and 
you know, having to censor myself all the time here too, you know, and it's just, it's just frustrating, man. And if one thing we keep, one thing is, is teabagging. So I, I, you know, with that, I'm going to recommend you guys my first teabagging ever, the legend of the first teabag animation. Call about a disturbance. Oh my God. He's got a fucking sit on me. I'm sorry, son. This is out of our control. What the fuck are you talking about? Shoot him! Not after how far we've come! Ah!